so I mentioned we have some competitors. Uh, what I think sets us apart is really innovation. Uh, we have, we developed the isolated barrier unit where we produce animals um, to give you really the highest health standard. Um, we have truck routes that cover a large portion of the country to serve our customers really well. Um, it's a lot less stress on the animals if we don't have to airship them to you. Um, we're the only company that can commercialize transgenic models, genetically modified models. Uh, just because you can buy them from Jacks doesn't mean you have use rights. So that's really the big difference. Um, and that's why if you're a company, you're going to buy models from us and not from Jacks because you have to go and get term licensing. Uh, and really, we started in 1952, we had 55 years of breeding expertise. <clears throat> so I mentioned our colony production. Um, we have people who that's all they do. Um, they just look for new and better ways um, to breed animals. We have to you know, sell them to you. you know, the inbreds are commodities. If we can sell them to you for $10, we have to be able to do it efficiently. Um, we have a number of programs that guarantee the quality of our animals. So we do extensive genetic monitoring. Uh, extensive microbiological monitoring, uh, and we really, um, one of our trademarks is our health status. Uh, so most of our commercial animals are produced at nearing pathogen, pathogen free status. Um, our health testing results are available for every colony on the web 24-7, and those are cumulative, cumulative results. So really our policy there is to be open and to inform customers of exactly what they're getting. <coughs> And of course, uh, this goes hand in hand with the fact that most uh, animal facilities will accept iconic animals directly into their facility without quarantine. Uh, so if we're talking about distributing animal models, it's a lot easier to get an animal model out of the iconic into your lab than directly from your lab to your researcher buddy at another university. Uh, here's a picture of one of our isolated barrier units. It's a triple. Um, these are actually pretty cool. You for uh, the uh, higher health standards, you basically have to wear a space suit. Um, and so this is actually a lot of fun. Um, I don't know if you find it to do it every day. Um, but we have those quality procedures in there to assure that basically we don't contaminate the rice. Um, and this, all this isn't going to apply to academic researchers, but it certainly applies to our customers in general. Uh, we have custom solutions really from soup to nuts. Uh, so we do custom model generation. We have a transgenic core, so that certainly doesn't apply to you. Um, but we can do things like quarantine, uh, re-derive. If you're going to go into one of our barrier, barrier units, we do have to re-derive the animals so that we can uh, produce them without uh, whatever pathogens that they have come with. Um, hand in hand with that is cryopreservation. We have to bring things in, re-derive and cryo at the same time. It's a really nice synergy. Um, and then we have a lot of services that you can probably do in your own lab, but for a pharmaceutical that wants to outsource, and they want to do clean typing or research studies with us, uh, we have a great molecular analysis lab that for transgenics, that's really important. Uh, we have surgery, and certainly the health testing goes along with that. 